But we were victorious there, were we not? I'll tell you, I've got a guy here I want to have come up. John DeMarco, John! I don't know if I can say it any better than Judge Calderuso said it. <laughs> You know, judicial races are supposed to be the least partisan of all the elected races, but I have to tell you, at this point in time, I can never be prouder to be called a winner, but more important, proud to be called a Republican. Yeah. Yeah. I am very humbled by the trust in me by the votes of this county, and I promise you that I'll receive an unre I'll have an unrelenting commitment to ensure a quorum that is not predisposed to any particular result and provides equal justice to all who come before it. This has been a very long election season. I could not have prevailed without Chairman Rylick, Chairman Cook, Chairman Corrin. <clears throat> There's another person that I've got to give personal thanks to, somebody that became a business partner but ultimately became my close friend. Someone who was faced with a very difficult, negative, misleading campaign that uh, came against us about two or three weeks ago but somebody who responded clearly, concisely, very nimbly, and really put this campaign back on track and sent their campaign back to Albany, where it came from, Arnie Rothschild. Thank you very much. <laughs> A couple other brief thank yous. Uh, Don Johnson, my campaign chairman, he's done this four times the last eight years. I don't know how he's managed to, to stay on course with me, but I owe a lot to Don. Jim Leonardo. I couldn't have done it without him, the folks at RES. All the people who have participated in all the parades, all of the other festivities that we attended, my family, Maggie, Jack, Nikki, Matt, Johnny, my mom who's here tonight at her, just near her uh, 78th year. I could not have done it without you, mom. Thank you, I love you. Again, I thank the voters of Monroe County and with great anticipation, I'm looking forward to the journey ahead. Thank all of you. The judge could say, but I'll tell you what, the voters rejected that commercial that Joe Morelli put out that was so graphic it was appalling. Let that be a lesson that the voters of Monroe County won't stand for that type of graphic depiction that was so inaccurate, they saw through it, and you know what? Victory is sweet. You're looking at live pictures of Republican GOP headquarters in downtown Rochester at the Radisson Hotel, where your...